up, world? It's your boy, Phil Ochko here. You know that American dude with the incredible mood? That's me. And what am I giving you today? Today, I'm giving you another vocabulary lesson based on a cartoon. But this cartoon is Futurama. Now, I'm pretty sure most people around the world know Futurama. It was a very, very popular television show that started in America, but now everyone's watching it everywhere. And an interesting fact about Futurama, the neighborhood in which Philip J. Fry is from, and my name is Philip Jones, where Philip J. Fry is from, that neighborhood is the exact neighborhood that I am actually from. It's pretty funny. It's from the area of Brooklyn. So you know what? Let's get to it. I'm going to teach you five vocabulary words using five different characters. So let's get to it. The first word we're going to get to for today is senile. Now, who on this show is senile? Definitely the professor. Now, what does it mean to be senile? When you're senile, that means you are old and your brain is starting to show the effects of your age. So how do most senile people behave? Well, they forget a lot. They always ask the same questions. They always tell the same stories. And they constantly, constantly confuse people for the wrong person. So, I have some grandparents who are senile, they usually see me and call me my brother's name, or call me my father's name, or even call me my sister's name, because their age is really starting to show in their brain. So it's not a good idea to depend on a senile person to take care of you. Usually us young people have to take care of senile people. So it's like you're born, you wear a diaper, everyone's taking care of you, and when you get really old, you wear a diaper, and everyone's taking care of you. But just hopefully you don't cry that much when you're senile. And that's really it. That's the first one. So, let's get to the second word that's going to introduce another character. And the second word for today is a delinquent. Now, who in this show is a delinquent? And not, e not even just a delinquent. This person is a proud delinquent. Who is this? This is Bender. Now, what is a delinquent? A delinquent is a person who typically likes to commit small crimes, like some small robberies, you know, might steal something, may lie on a piece of paper. Now, Bender, he always talks about kill all humans, I want to kill all humans, but he doesn't really want to kill all humans, because if he really wanted to, he would have killed Fry a long time ago, but he loves them. Same with the professor, same with Hermes, he hasn't killed any of them. But he does like taking their money, using their stuff without permission, sometimes beating them up, and a lot of other bad things that he enjoys doing because he's a delinquent. He likes committing small crimes for fun. It's just what he does. And when I wear this thing on my head, some people think I'm a delinquent. It's just an American flag bandana. So we got two. Let's get to the third. And the third word for today is a halfwit. Now who on the show is a halfwit? The person on the show who's the biggest halfwit I've probably ever seen on any TV show is Fry. Philip J. Fry himself, almost my name, from Brooklyn, we're similar, except he's white, I'm black. But Fry, he's a halfwit. And what is a halfwit? A halfwit is a person who is not intelligent, just stupid. Now, not a senile person, that's not fair because they may not be so intelligent, it's only because they're old. But Fry has no excuse. He's a young man, and he's basically perfectly healthy. His problem is he's just not very intelligent. He does not have a high IQ. Now, we wouldn't call someone with real mental disorders halfwits because it's an insult usually used for people who have regular brains, but they're just not very smart. So basically, we wouldn't use this word for a handicapped person, a person who's mentally handicapped. That's not fair. You can use halfwit on one of your friends when they're doing something silly, like if they forget their keys in the car. You could call them a halfwit. Like if they were to call their girlfriend another girl's name, that's being a halfwit. So in America, it's common people will say, stay in school even when you're 30 years old because they don't want you to end up like Fry being a halfwit. And there you go. That is the third one. So let's get to the fourth one for today. And the fourth one is self-conscious. Now this has many meanings, but I'm going to get to a specific one in this video. Who in Futurama is self-conscious? Well, it's Leela. And what is she self-conscious about? Well, it's pretty damn obvious. She has one eye. Now, Fry's in love with her, and also Captain Brannigan. There's a good number of characters who like Lita throughout this show, and they don't even care too much about her one eye. But she is very self-conscious about it because she always thinks about it, she thinks it makes her look ugly, and she's very emotional when people mention her eye. She might even kick the person. There was even an episode in which she got a surgery to change her eyes so she can have two eyes. But it didn't last long because she was having complications because of how she was being treated with two eyes, so she went back and had one eye. 
But still, even after she went back to having one eye, she was self-conscious of it because she was always thinking about it. She's always bothered by it. That's being self-conscious. So I'm not very tall. I'm a short guy. I think about it sometimes when I'm hanging out with my friends and they're all taller than me. Sometimes I might get a little self-conscious about that because I'm not very tall. And also, my teeth are a little big in the front. I'm a little self-conscious about my teeth because they're so big. And when I was a kid, some people would laugh at me about it. Maybe there's something you're self-conscious about. And just a hint, girls are usually way more self-conscious about things than guys can ever be. And that is the fourth one, so we got one more to go. So let's get to the fifth and last one for today. And this word is to be well off. Now, who is well off in the show? That's Amy. And what makes her well off? Her family's very, very rich. They even own like half of Mars or something like that. They're extremely rich. Now, well off is a phrase we use to talk about people who have a lot of money, but it's a way to say it in like a, a polite way, not bragging way. So if a rich person were to say something like, yeah, you know, I'm very rich, it will seem kind of snooty of that person. But if the rich person were to say, yeah, you know, I have a good job, so I'm a little well off, that's different. When you say you're well off, you have a lot of money, but it's more of a polite way of saying it. And also, children can be well off too. Now, of course, children don't have a lot of money, such as Amy herself, but if your parents have a lot of money and they support you, you're well off as well. So if you're well off and you're watching this video and you want to support me, contact me. So we can both be well off. So that's our five for today, so you know what that means. And that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash philosophy. That's me. But more importantly, subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. I'm at about 92,000 subscribers, almost at 100,000. So help me out. I'm still here in Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine. I should be here for another week. Then to Russia, I'll be in Moscow. Then I'll be in Ekaterinburg. Then I'll be doing something else for a school nearby. Then I'll be in Tumien, then I'll be in Tilyabinsk, and then possibly Samara and Saratov. So I will keep you guys updated on what's going on with me. I'm doing a lot of moving around, but one thing's for sure, I'm having a whole lot of fun here in Ukraine. So I'm out, guys. See you next time. You know what the guy says at the end of all of my videos. And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase.